I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is my very first Foundation Friday. I told you guys I want to start getting into more makeup reviews this year. So I'm going to start off with what I know how to do, which is slap on some foundation. So I'm going to be reviewing one, my favorite drugstore foundation of all time. And this foundation is really good for acne prone and oily skin, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Now you've probably heard about this before, it is not new. I've been using this for probably about a year, nonstop. And the reason why I'm bringing it up today is because I just found out that they have a new one called the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. So as soon as I heard they had a new like sister for this one, but total coverage, I ran to Target to find it. So I literally got this this morning and I'm going to be trying it on for the very first time with you guys. Now I don't know if you can notice or not, but on this side of my face I have the Infallible Pro Matte and on this side I have the Total Cover. So I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison to see which side lasts longer. They both claim to be 24 hours. We're going to see which one keeps me the least shiny and oily looking by the end of the day. Now the first thing I noticed right off the bat is that they have different shaped and sized bottles. This one is a little bit wider and shorter and this one is slim and tall. But you gotta read the numbers, they both are one fluid ounce, so there's the same amount of product in each one even though they look different. The total coverage is supposed to have a natural finish where the pro matte is supposed to have a demi matte finish. They both are supposed to have a wear time of up to 24 hours. The pro matte is supposed to have a medium coverage and the total cover is supposed to have a high coverage. And they also are both supposed to have an air light texture. Now I usually wear the color 109 Classic Tan in the Pro Matte Infallible, but it's a little bit too dark for me right now in the winter time, so I went ahead and bought two different colors for the Infallible. I bought the 310, which is the Classic Tan, same as the other one, and I went one shade lighter and got the 309 in Caramel Beige. Starting off with the Infallible Pro Matte in Classic Tan 109, let's see how it looks. So as you can see, it's a very rich brown color, and it's a little bit more liquidy and it's supposed to give you, you know, medium coverage. And now let's compare it to the Infallible Classic Tan. I do notice that they have two different types of nozzles. Now when we squeeze out the Infallible, it comes out really thick, so you have to really squeeze it. But let's see this color. It is a very, very thick and creamy consistency. And I can already tell this is going to give amazing coverage, but let's look at the two colors. They look very different and they're both supposed to be classic tan. Now I originally bought a lighter shade called 309 Caramel Beige because I wanted a lighter color, but now that I actually see it side by side, it might be too light and the classic tan is giving me the light color that I wanted. This should only be one shade down from the other two, but as you can see, this is three very different colors. I'm really glad these are pretty affordable, so I was able to buy three of them. These are ranging from $9.99 to $10.99, depending on where you go. You can get them from Target, Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. It's pretty crazy how if you look at the bottles, the lightest looking bottles giving us the darkest color, where the other two lighter colors look like darker bottles. But although the Infallible doesn't look like the color, at least it is see-through, so you could see when you're running out of product where on the new total coverage one, they painted on the colors so you don't really know what color you're buying unless you look at the very small little sliver at the bottom to see the actual foundation. So you're gonna have to be a little careful when buying the colors from the store. So now let me show you exactly how I applied the Pro Mat to this side and the total cover to this side. So first of all, let me tell you about my skin. As you can see, it is not perfect, but it is definitely very clear compared to what I'm used to. I have very oily, acne-prone skin. And as soon as you know you say that your skin is amazing, that's when a big old zit will just pop up on your face. So excuse this little, you know, volcano happening on the bottom of my face. But that is why I'm going to be doing this side with the Total Coverage Foundation, because I want to see if it could hide this baby. So we're going to put you to the test. And usually, I always color correct my darker circles, and I also use a primer. But for the sake of this video, let's see how it does without a color corrector and how it does without any type of primer so we can really see how mattifying this will keep us. Starting with the Infallible Pro Matte, let's just stipple it on there. It's a little bit darker, but like I said, I've been using this for forever so I can make it work with my highlight 
and all that. It goes on really nice. And this is just one layer. And just because, let's add a little bit more just so I could show you guys how it is buildable. So there's one layer. And then we can add a little bit more coverage. And now the moment I've been waiting for, which is trying the infallible total coverage. This is going to be the same color of classic tan. I'm going to apply it onto a beauty blender. Let's do this. Look at the coverage. That's actually really nice. From the first looks, this is actually a little bit lighter than this side. It's giving me more true to my skin tone than the Pro Matte, and it's supposed to be the same color. Hmm. But I am gonna try a second layer just to see how buildable it is, especially because this blemish has got to go. So we're gonna add a little bit more there. My main test now is gonna see how long they last. They both claim they could last 24 hours. So I'm gonna complete my face. Let's see which one wins. So now I am back with my full face once again. Now when I first put on just the foundation, it was 436. And I'll come back in a couple hours and we'll see how well the makeup holds up. All right, we're back. It is now 10.30 p.m. Actually, it's 10.41 p.m. now that I've set up everything. So that means it has been about six hours of this foundation. And as you can see, I am pretty shiny. This actually says a lot even to myself because I don't really get this shiny, but it shows you the power of wearing a primer. But regardless, we were doing this to see how well the foundation will do on its own. It says 24 hours, it says matte finish, blah, blah, blah. But let's evaluate. So this side, once again, was the pro matte side, and this side is actually shinier than this side. But on any normal day, I wouldn't just walk around looking greasy. I would then blot the oil away. And we're also gonna see how good the makeup holds once you blot. And we are going to just press down and get rid of all the oil. And if you've never seen this before, it gets it's kind of gross to see how much oil is just sitting on your face. And look how much better it looks after just blotting. This is all the oil that was just sitting on my skin. Look at that, good as new. Do you guys see how important these are? Oh, I love these so much. Here is my oil from the total cover side and this is my oil from the matte side. So there was more oil from this side. But luckily, after I blot, it still looks really good. My makeup can definitely go for more hours. I'm not gonna try 24 hours because I don't know, I wanna sleep tonight. But although you might be looking at this like, um, you're hella oily, I'm not gonna buy it. It is really good. Like my skin's good again now. I just have very oily skin, like it's insane. Well, that is my review for the Infallible Pro Matte versus the Total Cover Foundation. Although I did get a little shiny after about six hours, once I blotted it, as you can see, it still looks really good. It's still covering all of my flaws, except for this one. But I'm very happy with the price range. I can get these at almost any local drugstore. And I learned, I personally learned a lot from this video. And I hope you did too. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I also post new videos every Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.